these first few minutes will be vital, particularly for the youngsters in the Manchester United team, for whom this will be a near alien experience. Sharp picks in the team ahead of David Beckham, so as it turns out, a straight swap in. Neville. Well, he was relieved to get that back to Schmeichel. Face of Ferdinand. Face one on one with Bruce. He leaves Bruce, but it's a magnificent save from Schmeichel. No hesitation at all that time with the goalkeeper. Attempted to put pressure on Dennis Irwin. Irwin is unfazed. So is Schmeichel. Asprea. Ferdinand has made the run. Nes Ferdinand! Good save again by Schmeichel. Second time in the opening five minutes that Schmeichel has denied Ferdinand. Well, I mentioned before the game that for Neville and for Bruce, they're expecting a difficult night. And really, at the moment, they can't cope with uh, Ferdinand and uh, Faustino Asprilla. They really are carving Manchester United apart. Ferdinand gets it onto his right foot in here. Once again, Schmeichel is alive to the situation. Another brilliant save. Spria. Beardsley. Peter Beardsley. And they're grateful that it's stuck to Schmeichel. Beardsley shot. Well, at the moment, Newcastle are just swarming all over Man United. It's quite clear what the team talk was prior to the game from Kevin Keegan. To go at them early, go at them quickly to try and get an early goal. If it wasn't for Schmeichel, it'd certainly be a goal behind. He's made three excellent saves in the first ten minutes. Of age, Peter Beardsley. He's found Ferdinand. This is Lee. Nicely timed ball through. Les Ferdinand. Schmeichel has come off his line, but it goes wide. It's a corner. Well, every time the ball was in the box, it spells danger for Man United. You think sooner or later, they're going to be... Ex well, they've certainly been exposed. A break to Aspria. And he's kept it in play, but it's not behind by Keane. It's another corner. Well, for any team playing away from home, the first 20 minutes is always important not to concede a goal. Evidence of just how dominant Newcastle United have been in the opening stages. Has to do it on his own. Support was arriving in the form of Beardsley. Beardsley. Safely into the hands of Peter Schmeichel. Beardsley let it go, and Zimmerler wasn't really expecting it. Strive. Well, he's unlucky here with the crossbar. But Ferdinand, this is a great chance. Schmeichel completely beaten. Here's the chance. Miss kick by Neville, and Ferdinand should have scored. Brilliant free kick. Schmeichel's got no chance. So dangerous from anything else. Clearance by Barton sets Aspria off on another charge, and Phil Neville grateful that that back pass found its range after the missed kick that almost gave Ferdinand a real opening. Oh, that bad challenge there from Batty to go unpunished. It's a very, very late, late challenge there on Roy Keane. Quite a few goals this year from the crosses of Ginola. That was another excellent cross from his left foot. But I think it came that quickly. Les Fernand wasn't expecting it. Call 0990-102030 or see the Sky TV guide for Mark. Newcastle building up well with Ginola. And that's Schmeichel's.
There's hardly been any letter for Schmeichel during this game. Beardsley inevitably at the height of it. Well, some of the passing from Newcastle has been quite exceptional. The suggestion was prior to the game that perhaps nerves would take over. That would certainly... As well now, this is Aspria, well lined up for Peter Beardsley. He's gone for the shot! And Schmeichel is equal to it. Well, Schmeichel's probably saying to himself, how many more shots are going to have to deal with? This is more routine. Straightforward catch there for Schmeichel. Newcastle doing anything to find a route through to his goal. Kevin Keegan will be particularly optimistic with the way his team has started after he cocooned them away from the pressure last week. Normally open house at the club's training ground, but he kept everyone out until Friday, wanted minds firmly focused on this match. Wheels away from Irwin. Cross in there is dangerous. And Schmeichel will need to see it blaze straight across, too far ahead of Aspria. Magnificent play from Ginola. Gets a good turn here on Irwin from the flick from Ferdinand. Plays in a brilliant ball here with his left foot. Aspria just can't quite get there. Really is giving Dennis Irwin a torrid time. He's got the ball, free kick is taken, looking for Aspria. Howie forward. Aspria did well to rescue the free kick. Nothing to show for it as yet. Ginola might change all that. Good drive on! Ferdinand can only have been inches away. Once again, fantastic play from Ginola. Gets past Irwin, shot, comes back to give help. Goes past him, beats Irwin for a second time. Drives it into that near post, Ferdinand inches away. It's a real teasing ball, that, for the keeper. Spria combining with Ferdinand. And it was a firmly struck shot. Once again, great one to Aspria, Ferdinand. Left foot this time. Michael Joe Keegan will come in half time, just wondering how they have taken the lead. They've done everything but score. Some of the passing, some of the movement, the crossing, it's been of the highest quality. It really has been exhilarating stuff. But the worry is that it hasn't been converted into goals, mainly thanks to this man. Aspria. And that's too long for Beresford. Ferdinand desperate to stay onside. Barton's cross. Schmeichel has come. And unorthodox, but successful. The pressure is back on his goal. Ferdinand up ahead of Bruce. Oh, and across the deal with Aspria. And Schmeichel tried to rescue the corner and did. Newcastle have started but used to go away from home in Europe. On so many occasions, Peter Shield used to come to our rescue. I think at the time he was possibly the best keeper in the world was Peter. So important for Nottingham Forest, and this man's been vital tonight for Manchester United. Some of his saves in the first 10 minutes kept his team in the game. This is Aspria. Trying to force it through to Les Ferdinand. Michael almost invited Aspria to challenge him before clearing. Takes this free kick. Albert going up for it. 
but not too discomforting for Peter, for uh, Peter Schmeichel that time. Well, he won the header easily enough, completely out jumps Cantona, but it's not a good header. It should have been directed back across goal. He elects... Well, he needed support, he was very isolated, was Ginola. He cut it off. Beardsley's looking to pick out Ginola, and he got up well. Well, it needed a telepathic understanding there between Bruce and Schmeichel. Ginola with this corner. And Peter Schmeichel's hands far too secure for that corner to cause any damage. Now you can nominate your man of the match by giving us a ring now on 0891 111 It was really, the foul was just born out of frustration. to get your calls in on Man of the Match. 0891 111101 is the number to call to nominate your calling. Looking for Howie, Albert comes in. Albert wasn't really given time to take up the position he would have wanted before Ginnar had taken the kick. It was still knocked down to him by Steve Howie. Cole chasing onto Schmeichel's clearance. And Andy Cole, who's seeking his 100th league goal and would particularly like to get it here. Well, this is a poor effort from Cole. Gets the better of Howie, sits up nicely for him. Just needed a front foot volley. Well left by Gary Neville. A poor cross, Rob, but once again, there's just not enough players in that box. Robert Lee managed to get forward there to support Les Fernand, but they were the only two players in the box. Six minutes to go, two players in the opposing penalty box, but his movement was too early. Look on by Ferdinand towards Aspria. Here's Ginola. And he can't get it across this time. Erwin of matching stride for stride. The same bin there. Touchdown from Ferdinand. Possibility for Lee. And again, it's the frame of Peter Schmeichel that makes sure there's no sight of goal for Rob Lee. Well, I don't think Steve Bruce is aware of Rob Lee's presence. As the ball is flicked in from Ferdinand. No, he didn't realise that Lee was lurking in behind him. And another excellent interception there from Schmeichel. Great stretch neutral of the title race. A really dramatic climax. Because remember that Newcastle's lead... Spreer... Looking for a dramatic finish to his home debut, but it doesn't look like it'll happen for Newcastle United, and it's such a disappointment with the way they started. Son just cannot bear to watch the closing stages. It's quite significant, you know, the last three games, West Ham away, Man City away, Kevin Keegan has changed the system, playing with three at the back. Today, the shape isn't right, there's no width to the side. I think it's been a contributing factor. The final whistle has gone, and Alex Ferguson's team have claimed the three points. Eric Cantona's goal may well prove crucial when the history of the 1995-96 season is written. The statistics may not show it, but Peter Schmeichel also gave United, Manchester United, a massive helping hand. His